We'll come back to our program. We'll continue our conversation with Dr. Andrew T. Huang, the president and CEO of the Ku Foundation, Sang Yat-sen Cancer Center in Taipei, Taiwan. Dr. Huang, a very interesting concept that you raised earlier concerning the quality of health care provided by physicians and hospitals in Taiwan is the so-called pay doctors according to the quality of care they provide, according to the remedies they prescribe, and according to the outcome you know, of the patient's you know, uh, the disease and the uh, subsequent remedy. And uh, how would you care to elaborate on that concept, and how would that be more pragmatically enforced in reality, in practice? Well, let me cite uh, or paraphrase a statement that uh, George Halverson uh, stated in his book okay. entitled uh, Healthcare Reform Now, okay. in which he mentioned that there are 9,000 procedures and treatments covered by the diagnosis-related groups, so okay. called DRG, okay. which is a method of payment. Mm -hmm. But there's not a single item that says, we pay you because you successfully treated the patient. Okay. So there's no, treat, no payment for, mm. uh, for bringing about successful outcome. Mm -hmm. And I think we should use that to caution ourselves that mm. in the future when we engage in healthcare reform in Taiwan, that we ought to uh, measure results. Yes. For example, if you treat someone with hypertension, mm -hmm. you ought to show uh, to our satisfaction that the blood pressure of the patient is brought under control yes. on a long-term basis, yes. yeah. mm -hmm. uh, not just prescribing antihypertensive medication. Mm -hmm. uh, this is very simple. Treating a patient with diabetes, you have to show that uh, the sugar is, is reasonable, the so-called hemoglobin A1C level is mm -hmm. acceptable, the eyes have been checked, of course. the heart has been checked, the kidneys have been checked, yes. the neurological uh, deficits have been uh, uh, checked and, and hopefully to some extent uh, minimized. Uh, so the, the future of uh, national health insurance here in Taiwan ought to uh, be focused on mm -hmm. results. Okay, all right. And uh, the future of uh, the national health here ought to uh, be focused on bringing about uh, higher quality healthcare professionals. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we also need to uh, engage more in uh, prevention mm -hmm. by strengthening our public health okay. matters. I think certain things are, are good in Taiwan, I would say. that, For example, helmet law mm -hmm. okay. is good okay. because that has reduced uh, potential f potentially fatal injuries of the uh, head and, and yeah. the spine. Yes. Uh, those are the things that we needed to work on. Mm -hmm. The uh, traffic safety is another thing that we okay. should emphasize on. The mm -hmm. air, the clean air, the clean the water quality, yes. should be. Mm -hmm. areas that we need to emphasize. Mm -hmm. So uh, quality of care is, uh, has to do with delivery. Of course. Uh, prevention through public health uh, measures. Uh, education to improve the quality of providers. Mm -hmm. um, and education of the public. Yes. So that the asymmetry yeah. of health-related knowledge mm -hmm. can be you know, sort of the public will be brought up, yes. uh, while the physicians, of course, ought to continue to improve. Yes. And, and those are the areas, those four areas that I mentioned are okay. uh, areas that I would encourage the current government to, to put their, uh, their eyes on. Okay. I would suppose that you have discussed this concept with many of your colleagues and students and also your residents at your hospital. What's the general reaction so far? from the medical professionals here in Taiwan of this concept, you know, pay according to the quality of care provided? I get two kinds of response. <laughs> okay. Um, some would say, yes, we definitely need to do that. Okay. Others would say, well, you can't change 
Reluctant. society. You yes. can't change the government. You can't change any policy. Mm -hmm. And whether it's the DPP in uh, power or the KMT. Uh, KMT in power, it doesn't matter. Okay. So th those are more cynical people. Of course. Uh, what I want to do is to, to add more to the first group, yes. people who are more uh, eager to, to bring make, about better yeah, make a health care for the society. Mm -hmm. uh, but you cannot avoid seeing these cynical people at the oh. same time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, uh, and also, Dr. Huang, for all your experiences in overseas, uh, have you seen this type of concept worked in any other country? Maybe, for example, parts of the U.S. Has that worked, I mean, in terms of providing quality care to patients? Yeah, the counterpart in the U.S., mm -hmm. uh, so-called centers for uh, Medic Medicare and, and Medicaid services, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. CMS for short, mm -hmm. actually are now doing a lot of uh, pay for performance, oh, really? P4P okay. uh, uh, measures. And I think okay. uh, initially the first step would be for them to recognize that there are certain indicators that need to be measured. Mm -hmm. For example, when you take care of diabetes, mm -hmm. How is the blood sugar, the hemoglobin A1C, whether you check the eye grounds uh, for diabetic changes and try to do something about, about it, or whether you are looking after their heart disease, coronary artery disease, mm -hmm. whether you check their urine output of protein mm -hmm. so that you know that uh, the renal complication is being managed. Okay. Being uh, reduced, okay. and I think that will reduce the need for dialysis mm, because course. dialysis costs money and yes. it's awfully inconvenient for the patient because they have to go to to yeah. be dialyzed three times a week. Yeah, it takes and about that three, affects their three and, and a half hours. Yes, right. It takes a lot. Of time. And uh, so in the U.S., that's what's happening, and I think that's is happening also to Canada. Mm. Okay. Uh, Canada, a few years ago, had a major reform, okay. and I think they decided that they were going to put more emphasis on quality of care. Okay. In England, uh, they established a, an agency called NICE, okay. which is a uh, National Institute of uh, Clinical Excellence. Okay. And NICE is, is uh, the main uh, goal of NICE is to help the National Health Services in England to improve the quality of care. Okay. Um, in Germany, same thing has happened. Okay. So the whole world, especially the those leading countries, mm -hmm. are working uh, toward that direction. Yes. And in Taiwan, I think we're slow. Okay. Uh, we ought to speed up on this and uh, and and establish indicators. Mm -hmm. We have collaborated with the na with the National Health Insurance on the treatment of breast cancer. Of course. And we have uh, multiple indicators that we measure. Mm -hmm. And once you meet the uh, requirement, then you get uh, a uh, you get to continue to, to be paid somewhat differently from mm -hmm. the usual uh, fee for service mm -hmm. scheme. Mm -hmm. So I think that's a good start, but I think that needs to be continued. I would encourage the government to continue in this direction mm -hmm. and become outcome sensitive, value sensitive, quality sensitive. Yeah. Healthcare. Yeah, I think for individual physicians, that will also bring a sense of you know, you know, satisfaction, professional excellence, that you've cured the disease, uh, you've helped the you know, patients to, uh, you know, to remedy their difficulties. And, uh, and um, also, in addition to this concept of quality of care, uh, other concepts or other things that you would recommend to our government that will help the overall quality of healthcare in Taiwan, in addition to the, you know, the concepts you already mentioned, the education, public health, and also the uh, emphasis on, you know, the kind of attention, the quality public provided. Public education yeah. is important. Of course. Um, I think the single payer, yes. single administration is fine. Okay. But it ought to be accompanied by multiple plans, okay. so that each plan can then compete. Okay. So uh, there is that currently uh, there's yes, one, one pair, yes. one administration, and one plan. Okay. So there's really no competition. So mm -hmm. okay. So if if the Bureau of National Health Insurance says 
No. Mm -hmm. the, the answer is no. Yes. Mm -hmm. But if you have, say, three or four or five different plans mm -hmm. and they compete with each other, mm -hmm. even though the money may be coming from the same source, mm -hmm. they will provide different things. And then the, the patient, the public, can then go to a different plan and they then compare. Yes. And if they are not satisfied with it, they will go to other plans. Mm -hmm. So the lack of flexibility, lack of competition is making the current national health insurance kind of slow in making changes. Exactly. And, and not seeing their own deficiencies. Yeah. And also in the health you know, professionals, you know, in terms of the, the kind of you know, care and the work they do, you probably need a lot of innovative thinking. You probably need a lot of creative ideas to help to improve the quality. And uh, we probably don't need yeah. all that bureaucracy. Well, that's <laughs> the next step one should consider, especially yes. if you have different plans. Mm -hmm. You can say, well, I will provide this kind of care yes. within this plan. Mm -hmm. Then the next plan will say, well, I mean, they're making some innovative things. So we of ought course. to to find, come up with something else. Mm -hmm. And that will be good for the, the, the health of our citizens. Mm -hmm. uh, you're absolutely right. I think uh, new things are coming up all the time. Of course. New technology, new drugs, mm -hmm. new approach to, to illnesses. Yes. And if we just sit still and do nothing, mm -hmm. uh, we are always going to be behind. Mm -hmm. So we need to develop a, we need to, to build a, an objective third party uh, to assess uh, innovation of technology, of medication, so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. okay. And we also invite citizens to participate in it yes. so that they know that if they want a better care yes. with newer drugs, yes. they should be willing to pay, pay a, little a little more. more. Exactly, yes. And after a short break, when we come back, we're going to talk with Dr. Andrew Huang, and we're going to ask him about his experiences, very rich experiences, in terms of hospital management and how that new concept of managed cost versus managed care will impact the you know, future of Taiwan hospitals. We'll be right back.